Okay, let's try this last question. It's just all kind of a reduction question, and they ask you to simplify this whole expression completely. There's no double angle stuff in here, and it's not very satisfying. And maybe I, when I get to the end, it's not very simple, but I did it as, I got it as far as I could. Let's see what we're going to do first. Well, first look at this 90 plus um, theta. 180 degrees plus theta minus theta. To do the top, we have to know where all those things are and what the sign is there. So for 90 plus theta, that's right here. So this is this going to be positive, but it's a co-function, so it switches to cosine theta. 180 plus theta, 180, there's plus theta. That's the third quadrant. Cosine is going to be negative there, so that's going to become minus cos theta. And if you're from here bending down, that's minus theta. That's going to be, sine's going to be negative there. Now make sure you use brackets for those things. The sine of 180 degrees, you've got to draw a nice little sine wave. And at 180 degrees, halfway to the 360, it's zero. It hits right on the um, x-axis there. So that's a zero, and you have to show some evidence. For this, the tangent of 135, we've got to go to where 135 degrees, it's right in the middle there. That makes a reference angle of 45. And tangent is negative there. Okay, so that's how I got all of these things. Cosine theta, minus cosine theta, minus sine theta, that's zero, and you should show some evidence for how you knew that was. And then minus the tangent of 45 degrees, because tangent's negative in the second quadrant. Now you got to use your special triangle. You've got to have one of those and show that it's one over one. Oh, somebody, you know, today was they were showing me they've got a chart. They can show all the special angles with a table. I guess you can draw a whole table down. And that's another way. As long as you show evidence, you know that the tangent of 45 is one. Anyways, then we just replace that zero. That's minus a minus, so it's plus 1 over 1. Gee, you're just dividing by 1. And what did I do here? Well, I see there's a cosine here. These two negatives make a positive. There's cosine in by itself, and then cosine multiplied by sine. So I pulled it out so I don't have to write cosine down once. I guess that's a little simpler. It's a simplified thing. So your final thing, that's as simple as I can make it. And I guess... I can't see getting it any simpler than that. And that's the final answer, I think. Here you go.